Hi, it's Brett from Niche Laboratory here. In this video, I'm going to review another keyword tool I found. I don't know if you've seen this one, it's quite popular. Uh, it's called answerthepublic.com. You see there's an agitated hipster guy here in a big uh, woolly pullover. So it's kind of an unusual website design, but it seems to have uh, got a lot of traffic from word of mouth. So this is a website that's uh, online based, there's like no download or anything. Um, it's quite a simple design. You just put your keywords in here and then to get some keywords. So let's put in my usual test phrase, which is paleo diet. Let's see what keywords we'll get. And also there's a new thing, changing the language. Uh, can't really see the colours on my monitor there, but usually most people do keyword research in English, so maybe that's not. Okay, let's click on questions and see what we get. So, thank God the agitated uh, hipster has gone away. Uh, what's happening? Okay, I'm never too sure with this website if it's actually working or not, but it seems to have found something. So, it basically works by finding question related phrases for your keyword. So, where, which, who, what, when, why, how, are, or will. It's kind of hard to read these, but let's see, it's things like can, paleo diet, eat cheese, low cholesterol, so they're kind of grouped different things. If you scroll down, there's some more things. It's kind of hard to read them. Even more stuff here. This seems a bit new. I thought there was a list. There's a list, there was a list. Uh, they've changed the site a bit. Uh, so you can now download them as a CSV. This website is a bit hard to use, it must be said. They, I don't even know that it's working properly. You used to be able to get a long list of the keywords, which made it a bit easier to use it. I have got some good keywords from this tool in the past. Um, you see there's a whole load of good keywords here, like paleo diet, no peanuts, no legumes, without red meat, without cooking, so that'd be raw or vegan. If you're setting up a kind of answers type site, then this keyword tool is really good. There are some deficiencies though, unlike Niche Laboratory Pro, it only finds like question terms really, and all of the terms it finds have your initial keyword in the keyword that it finds. So that's all. The good news is that this website works quite quickly now, but I'm not entirely sure it's actually working properly. It is very quick anyway. Uh, celebrities who do something. You could write a good article about that, like maybe 10 celebrities who are on the paleo diet, celeb type uh, keywords get huge amounts of uh, searches, so that's often a good thing to do. Also people always like to look for success stories, especially in the dieting niche, so if you're building a website in this niche, I would always build it around like success. Maybe you've had personal success in it, which is even better, but if you haven't had personal success in this niche, then maybe you can find some celebrities who are really into this uh, paleo diet fad. Let's look for some more. As I say, I think you can download the whole list of keywords and then go through them. Um, if you import them into Excel, it's a good idea to sort them out. <coughs> I wouldn't really 
write a single web page about each of these keywords, I would tend to group them into things like, for example, you could have a carbohydrates page. So maybe you could have potatoes. Let's look for some other carbohydrates. I suppose candy and sweets, probably carbs. Rice, rice is definitely a carbohydrate as well. Then you could have fatty foods like cheese, eggs. Uh, finally, there's drinks like coffee. I imagine beer is probably listed here. Then there's a whole load of other less commonly eaten foods like tofu, whether that would be good. You could also expand a website into niches for certain groups of people. Here's like, uh, can you put toddlers on a paleo diet? So that could be a good one. In fact, this niche is so big that maybe a kind of micro niche site about paleo diet for toddlers could actually get some quite good traffic. Uh, here's a whole list of comparisons, which is kind of a good thing. Um, Keyword Researcher Pro, I'm actually running a job at the moment, so that's quite good for finding these. So Paleo Diet versus Wheat Belly. Wheat Belly is another diet. There's a diet book written about that. Uh, paleo Diet versus a normal diet. You could write a list of things that you can not eat in a Paleo Diet that you could eat in a normal diet. Um, paleo Diet versus Gluten Free. These are really lovely article ideas here. So it has found some really good articles here as a whole versus, I don't think it did this versus thing before, but it's a nice new feature. The good thing is that this keyword tool is free as well. The downside, of course, to a free keyword tool is that lots of other people want free keyword tools and you'll find there's a bit more competition for any keyword that this tool finds. So free things aren't always a good thing. There's even more. Uh, there's a lot of like and and things. So paleo diet, exercise, inflammation, and CrossFit. I think there's a training program. Let's scroll up to see more. It's, it does do a lot more words now i think these are prepositions so can you do paleo diet without cooking red meat losing weight without dairy so there's a whole load of opportunities here without eggs without meat so another micro niche site might be to focus around paleo diet for vegans vegetarians, people with a raw food diet. So this keyword tool is pretty good. Um, again, uh, really impressed with how quick it was. Go back to the homepage, despite the uh, agitated guy. I think I'm trying to monetize the site. So it's like an email course now. I'm not sure how useful that is and they have a blog and links to their other services i think this is a media company that's uh, built this, this keyword tool and some more coverage book i'm not sure what this is let's say it might be worth joining their email course see what's happening they also have a blog as well i think it works in different languages it's hard to see it's french italian this would be dutch maybe norwegian polish portuguese swedish okay uh, maybe german as well If I do one, it says dresses. Dresses are uh, clothing niches, very good. 
had some success in that niche. Um, there's masses of keywords in the clothing niche. Uh, that seems to be working. I'm impressed at the speed of this keyword. It is very quick. I think it's found around 500 keywords. I'd say the only thing you have to watch out with this keyword tool is that it only finds very narrow keyword phrases. So if you search for dresses, then everything it finds are related to dresses. It won't find anything to do with blouses, socks, skirts, or anything else. It's kind of good if you're building a micro niche site on a very specialist topic, but if you want to build a larger website and build it out to other topics, then you'll have to use some other keywords. Ah, this one works now. So it didn't work for the paleo diet for some reason, but here it's written a whole alphabetical list of the keywords. And I know it looks all kind of cool, this circular thing, but it's so hard to read the keywords on there. But they're much easier once you can see the A to Z list. So if you had a dresses website, then all of these keywords would keep you busy article writing for months and months. Okay, so this website is at answerthepublic.com. So give it a search and see what results you get. If you have any comments, then leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.